We have the Story of Index Love video. I still, before this, had not yet seen The Bachelor Party. So we get to the bit where Dexter teaches Johnny how to throw an axe and then gives him the big thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. I laugh hard. You should have watched the whole thing, dude. I laugh really hard. So Dexter's the greatest. <laughs> I've totally turned the corner on him. So the sign of the wedding. And everyone who is not on the show is a guest. And we learn their full names. <laughs> we are here to celebrate the wedding of Dexter Gaylord Loomis and Indy Ophelia Hartwell. <laughs> Johnny is there, of course, to give away his daughter, Indy. Double checks this is what she wants to do when this sits down. Austin doesn't have the rings because he's a, he's a buffoon. He says, the guy in the jacket has them. Uh, I've forgotten this fella's name. It's Ikiminjiro. Ikiminjiro was there. He he's is wearing, wearing no pants. He's wearing his bright, colorful... Because you see, I, I noticed him at first because they had the wide shot. And he's sitting in the front uh, front corner of the, the, the door over there. I saw him have his jacket on his legs. Like, I assumed he would just at least have his wrestling gear on under his jacket. But no, he opens his jacket and he has, like, tie-dye Speedos on. <laughs> They're very small. But he has the rings. And even Johnny's like, how do you even know this guy? He gets the rings. They give them to the people. And the priest, who actually is the priest, asks if anyone here has any inclination to speak now or hold their peace. Hands go up all over the room until Dexter opens his jacket and flashes the axe he is wielding. And the hands go back down. Indy does her vows. She sees this creep as her cuddly teddy bear. He has a well-groomed mustache with tight clothes. He never takes his eyes off me. Damn right is a freak. Dexter is my freak. And she begins to tell the story of one time when he snuck into her bedroom and Dexter reaches forward and covers the mic with his hand. And Chani and uh, Candace are appalled, but they're here now. May as well go through with it. And Indy says, you understand me and I understand you. The priest asks Dexter for his vows. He gives the thumbs up. Which is good enough for me, honestly. But the priest says, this is not enough. You must be nervous. Dexter does not like being called nervous. Don't call Dexter Loomis nervous, everyone. He will choke you out. He chokes out the priest. Leaves him laying. They're trying to find someone else who can officiate the wedding. They said, William Regal, you're the GM. You can do anything. General managers cannot officiate weddings, everyone. It doesn't work that way. Regal's got, he has the opportunity to do the horrified face. I want nothing to do with this shit. Well, that too. But they, they pause, but they go, they cut to William Regal. I, okay, I know we haven't watched it in a month, but it hasn't been years and years. They zoom out, and sitting next to William Regal is what appears to be a zombie referee. Yeah. What was that? Go watch the fucking bachelor party. Okay, that's fair. So, Beth Phoenix steps in. She explains that she got ordained last night just in case. It's time to cut to the chase, and it turns out there's a guy there named Andre Chase. He wants to talk now until Odyssey Jones sits him down. And so Beth asks Indy, do you take Dexter, for better or for worse, until death do us part? Hopefully not due to acts. So yes, in storyline, I told you. Even her best friends are concerned Dexter might murder her with his axe. We we all it's it's now everyone is in on the joke. <laughs> He's an axe killer. And then they ask Dexter, "Do you take Indy to be your wife?" And there is a pause. There's more pause. And he leans forward and says, "No, first Beth says, I guess you just don't want to say something." Uh, That's see. okay. And then he puts his hand over the mic, and uh, he, then the crowd goes nuts, because they're like, he's going to talk! Yes. And he says, I... And the place goes, ah! And he says, do! And they all go crazy! Oh, they go nuts! And they smooch, and they're married now. This was... This may have been the wackiest wrestling wedding I've ever seen. It was very wacky. Dude, but here's the thing, Vinny. Yeah. You have not been watching this show. No. Okay? And I've said for a while, like, Johnny Gargano and Candace and Indy and all the stuff they do, like, it's really funny, but I hated it when Johnny was also supposed to be main event Johnny Wrestling. It didn't work. No. You either got to go one way or you got to go the other way. Okay? 
If you go the other way and you just look at the comedy skits that they do, you look at the storylines they've done with Indy and Dexter, you watch The Bachelor Party, this wedding was fucking perfect. It tied everything together they've been doing in these storylines. This has actually been like a a multi-year storyline that Dexter doesn't speak. And it all builds to the big climactic finale where he must say, I do. And so he finally says words. And they get married. And it's a happy ending. And nobody ran in and ruined the wedding. Nope. And the Dexter gimmick, when the Dexter gimmick was, he's in there wrestling and they're playing it straight. It sucked, okay? But now that it's like, we're in on the joke, it's all, he's an axe murderer. He carries an axe with him. To murder people. He's been fucking great in these vignettes. Not smiling, no facial expression, but his eyes say it all. He's been great. And I thought that this wedding was just fantastic. It was a, a very, very fun wedding. I enjoyed the wedding very, very much. I will say one thing. Um, I liked I liked my wedding a lot. And in every way, in fact, I liked my wedding more than Dexter's, except there is one thing that if I could change, I would take from the Dexter Gaylord Loomis Indy Ophelia Hartwell wedding, which is I would absolutely dress myself in Dexter's jacket. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Black thing with gold trim and tails. It was beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Champa is watching the wedding backstage. He's a married man himself. I'm sure there's a soft spot in his heart for this. But as he's watching, he's interrupted by Braun Breaker. They congratulate each other on their wins tonight. And then they share a tense handshake and breathe heavily. So there you go. That was NXT. Yeah, this Braun Breaker is going to be the champion here soon. I figure Tommaso, Tommaso won because they wanted a baby face. So they could do the babyface, babyface thing with Braun Breaker. And he's a great worker. So they went with him yeah. over O'Reilly. And that's fine. I mean, the Ciampa story with the belt's great. And he, he can, I'm sure he can have a good match with Braun Breaker. And there you go. That's the new NXT. Yeah. I enjoyed the show. Hmm. It was not boring. It was not boring. I didn't. Yeah. I honestly didn't think it was that much different from the old NXT. It's, you didn't. It's brighter. There's more lights. The matches are shorter. Matches are totally different. The old NXT was all about the in ring, and this is all about everything but the. But in-ring. a lot of the a lot of the in ring wasn't always that good. Well, it was arguable. It was different. It was a different in ring. There, there, there were shorter matches with fewer commercial breaks in the middle of the match. It was an old NXT style that you will never see again. Yeah. This is the new NXT. Its main roster NXT. Roman Reigns versus Edge for the title. Sorry, Brian. The hell's going on over there? <laughs> Got a text. My bad. It plays a song for a text. Brian, move along. Who here in the chat can name that tune? <laughs> yeah, that's this person says it sounds like Faith. With that one guy, <laughs> we got to have one Faith. Guy, yeah, whatever his name was. His name is George Michael. George Michael. That's right. Yes. I was gonna say Shawn Michaels. No. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month. You can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.